Hey everybody, Bryce here from CodeLife.io and today we're going to build a React starter project. So in previous tutorials, you probably seen me use, uh, what is it called, Create React App to get a project bootstrapped, you know, right away. But what if we wanted to make something more lightweight or do it ourselves? What if we want to use Webpack and learn how Babel um, comes into play? Well, today, very quickly, we can stand up our own project. So we're going to do the bare minimum to kind of get everything set up. The couple little things kind of sprinkled on there. But let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't have Node installed, you'll have to install that. And along with that will come NPM. So let's go NPM init. So what's the package name? React starter. Um, I'll put nothing for now. Index will be index.js test. You can ignore that for now. Put my name just for good measure. Um, yes, this sounds perfect. So let's add that. All right, now we need to add a couple files here. So let's go, I'm gonna use touch, which means, uh, which will create a new file for us. So we're gonna do index.js, because we said that was gonna be our entry point here for this script. Um, touch index.html, touch app.jsx, touch um, webpack, dot config dot js and that'll be the configuration for webpack um then we need to install some stuff now that we have the ability to add node packages we need to add a couple for react so we'll go npm install dash dash say dash dash save um we'll do react and react dom which you probably are familiar with those two packages so we get those installed and then we need to install some dev dependencies. So we'll go npm install dash dash save dev. And we're going to do webpack webpack dev server, which will allow live reloading while we're working. Babel loader, Babel core, Babel preset ES 2015 which gives us all the cool functionality of uh, ES6. Um, Babel, oops, Babel preset react. So that should be all of them. Perfect. So now if we actually open our project, this is what we're building essentially. Um, if we open it up here, so we got all our files, we got this webpack config. Let's go ahead and get that set up. So we installed I should have installed path. I don't know if I did there. I may not need it. Let's see. Let's try it out here. Const path equals require path. And we'll say const webpack equals require webpack. So just including these from their uh, node packages that we installed. Now I think we're gonna export from here. The module.exports equals. And so we're gonna say our entry file. So this is the webpack config. This tells webpack essentially how to run. So we'll say in the current directory, index.js. So that's kind of where everything's gonna boot from. Um, output, when we build, We'll say will be path, we'll say directory name. So the current directory name, we'll say the file name will be webpack bundle.js. And then module, which then has a loaders field take an array, which I think we're just gonna have one in here. Um, so we'll have test, and this isn't for testing purposes. That's what it, it would seem like, but what it's actually doing is testing whether or not the file is matches, um, it's valid essentially. So we say, here's the test, run this test. If it passes this test, then you wanna go actually and run this uh, um, loader. So our test, we're gonna use a regular expression, say JSX, 
question mark to say the X is optional, so it could be a J JS file or it could be JSX. And dollar sign saying it's gonna end in that extension. And then we'll say loader. Oop. We'll say Babel loader, which you saw we installed. And we'll say exclude, exclude. Um, this would be the node modules folder. Because we want to npm install all that. We don't want to actually um, include all that wrapped up. Um, or excuse me, not wrapped up, but we don't want to actually transform all that. So Babel's going to take all our code that's ES6 and transform it to ES5. So it'll work with um, browsers that aren't the newest browsers. Um, so it's going to skip the node modules directory because we don't need to. It's already good to go. There's no reason to do that. Um, then query. We'll say presets. Oop. Takes an array. We'll say ES2015 and React. And that should be good, I think. Um, so this part here, this query, the presets, some people like to put this in a file. It's a dot babelrc, but you can put it right here and it works just fine. It's one less file. Might as well, because the babelrc file would just have basically this line here. So that's looking good. Um, in our index.js, so this is our entry point essentially. So we want to import react from react. We want to import react dom, dom from react dom, not form, from. And we'll import app from app.jsx. Can't type today. And then with React Tom, all you want to do is go React Dom dot render. And we're going to render our app component document dot get element by ID. So we're going to say search for an element with the ID of root. That looks pretty good to me. So this is gonna essentially just find this element here. That's of root import, um, do the same thing again. From, there we go. Color highlighting uh, seems to help pretty well. Um, and then app is gonna be a kind of a wrapper component, essentially. Um, it's not gonna have too much in there. Let's go to HTML. And here, what we wanna do, let's say HTML, so I have this bootstrap um, trigger there, or pre, um, call it helper, I guess. Let's go react starter for the title. Here we need our div. And let's have an ID of root, like we specified before. So all our code will get loaded in here into this div. Um, and then we also need to include a script tag here. And you remember we made the file name, uh, what was it, webpack bundle JS. So in the current directory, it's gonna generate that file. So we need to include it here. So we'll say webpack bundle.js. And that's gonna be the file that'll be generated after Babel's all done. It'll bundle it up into this convenient file. Perfect, so we're looking pretty good. Now I think just app JX, app JSX. So same thing, we'll import react from react. This is central recognizing JSX, so say it's JavaScript. There we go. Um, now we want to export default class app, which extends react.component and we want to render return 
And here we can go say div dot container. Doesn't recognize it because it's a JSX file. So we'll do this the manual way. Class name equals container, just so it's off the edges. It's a bootstrap thing. But you don't have to use bootstrap. I just included it, uh, make it easy. Um, let's do an h1 tag. We'll say React Starter. Perfect. So we're going to export that. That's looking pretty good. Now probably just our package.json will modify here. So in the script section, these are different scripts you can run with uh, node. So let's create one called dev. And from here, we want to run the command webpack dev server, say progress colors. It'll be nice and pretty for us. And then let's also do one for a production build, which we can just call build a webpack. Oop. So I'll just run the webpack command from the console, which we could probably do ourselves, but I'll just put it here, make it easy. Um, perfect. So I think we have everything here. So now if we come back here and we go npm run dev, that should build our project with live reloading. So if we come here, boom, looks like it's working. What if we change something? Let's go react starter. Boom. And it auto refreshes. That's our Webpack dev server doing hot reloading. So that's pretty awesome. So with not a lot of work, we got a project up and running with react which simply has a Webpack config, which is doing some stuff with Babel to transpile the code from JSX into the appropriate files. Um, we created an entry point, we created a basic uh, index.html that all our code loads into, which conveniently had bootstrap based on the snippet I had. Um, and then we just created a super simple component, which gets imported into here and rendered here in the root. Um, uh, div, div with the idea of root. So pretty simple. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave a comment below. If you could like or subscribe, it greatly help uh, other people find the videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.